first thing I do before even setting up the SUV tent is leveling off my vent. I just grab a level and I back up on some boards. Front and back tires are both on boards and now she's all level. So just like every other tent, you have to erect your poles. I think go is according to plan, but hey. So I'm gonna set up all my poles, put them through, set up the tent like a normal tent, and then come back to you after as I'm strapping it around the SUV or my van. Right on now that the tent part's set up, all it was was the three bars. Now what I have to do is bring this part over my back hatch and attach it up here. And there's other attachment points that go down. So we're going to put you off to the side again and I'll get that step done. Got a couple of tent spikes, might as well put those in. So when I trip on my face going through the door, it won't hurt as much. Open up my back hatch. Gonna make sure this is over the wiper blade before I put it up. And we'll adjust this side. Just the other side. Oh. That helps support the tent too. Your back hatch. Could be tightened up a little bit. I'm still gonna tighten these up to the fender as well. It's like a double double hatch system. And pull this in a little bit, but I'll close that hole. Be nice and toasty in here. Down by the lake, by the fire pit right now. But we're gonna head on into the camp, take another tour. I have the generator about 100 feet away I have a 100 foot extension cord I mean, it's at the max so January is about 100 feet away from my camp oh that mean machine using an SUV tent this year Got everything all set up. Mr. Heater heats up everything. 
especially on high. It was minus 11 last night. I was sleeping with a t-shirt with no blankets. Don't use a sleeping bag. Don't need that. Don't plan on freezing. I also have a little electric heater. Just uh, move the air around a little bit. I don't barbecue in here. That's just there just in case I need it. I boil all my water. Do all my cooking. Everything's done with Mr. Heater. Got my little DVD player. And where I crash myself. Hunting clothes. That's a bin of clothes. The kitchen. Food, drinks, coffee area. I have a lamp up here. So this is where I've been camped for the past 25 years during my deer hunt. When I was younger and hunting here, there was deer everywhere. About four or five in a herd. And you used to bump into two or three herds before you get to your spot. It's not like that no more. Now there's maybe two deer in the whole area. So I shot a lot of deers. There's a beaver dam that's the edge of my swamp right near the road. So it's a big funnel. Everywhere around here is a funnel. They just keep on getting funneled in in between one swamp or a lake or another. So you find those good little funnels. And that's where you'll find me. So I hope everybody enjoyed the video. If you found any information in this video useful, please leave a comment down below. And for all you good people out there, have a good one.